Hey everybody, welcome to Workforce Gaming. I am Brad, here with Doug. Hey. We got a code for Hitman World of Assassination, mm -hmm. which is kind of the new rebranding of the yes. Hitman trilogy from IO Interactive. Yep. And it included a, one new mode, I think, was kind of the big deal, was Hitman Freelancer. Yeah, it included one new mode, but also with this update, if they included all the levels from Hitman 2 and 1. That used to be like sort of like you had to buy Hitman 1 and 2, and then they all kind of sort of combined in this one. They're like, okay, screw all that. Hitman World of Assassination, you get two in one, don't even worry about it. <laughs> here, here, give us the money, you get everything Hitman we've ever done. Exactly, exactly. Simple enough. Yeah. So you played, did you play all three of them before this? No, so I. So it's really funny. Hitman 1 was like one of the first reviews I think we did for this channel. I, I really, really enjoyed Hitman 1, but I didn't finish it. Um, um, Hitman 2... I was all excited to play and for some reason it just like didn't gel with me and I, I, could, I could never get past the second level and I was like I don't know what the hell is going on um so when I got this I was like all right we'll see how this goes because I actually never I never played through I never played through Hitman 3 because I was like one I really liked two I was kind of like eh, whatever yeah and then um I I did play through three and I fucking love three <laughs> um, <laughs> I was gonna say I feel like Hitman's one of yeah. those things where like you always tell me you love, I love Hitman, I love Hitman, I love Hitman. I was yeah. like, did you ever even play these games? That's always the feeling I have in yeah. my back of my mind with Hitman with you. Yeah, no, it's not wrong because I think, um, <laughs> I don't know if like you need a lot of brain power for these things, but I use a lot of brain power for these games <laughs> um, because the way I like to play them is I like to turn. So the problem, one of the main problems I had with Hitman 2 uh, very specifically is that when you got an objective, it would tell you like literally exactly where to go. There'd be like a little icon and you'd go to that place. And I didn't like that. And that was like a new thing they had done for Hitman 2, because it was just it was just so guided. And mm -hmm. so for so for Hitman, but but and so you can turn it to minimal, and then when you turn it to minimal, it doesn't tell you where to go. But Hitman 2 levels like were designed around telling you where to go. So it was really easy to get lost in Hitman 2. Yeah. But for Hitman 3, I don't know what they did. I think they did something with the signage or something. So I set it to minimal, and I always kind of had an idea where to go. And it, had, it felt like that much more puzzly aspect I love. I loved of Hitman mm -hmm. 1. Um, but I, so what I do is I play with minimal, so it's not super clear cut of where I need to go. So it's yeah. always me like really, really thinking. And then the thing I, the other way I play it is I don't like to kill anybody. I don't have to. So the only person I try to kill is like the target. Um, and which is also like, it's, it was also makes it a little bit more difficult to play. So yeah. it's like, to me, it's like, I really, so it's, to me, it's like this really intensive thinking puzzle game that I really like to play, but I'm playing with the settings to get to that point. Um, well, I think if you play like the much more guided way, which it just it's just fine. Um, that's just not how I like to play. So it takes a lot of brain power. So it's like when I'm sitting down, sometimes I like feel like I'm doing work. Um, <laughs> but but I think Hitman Three. I don't know what they do with the level design. It's hard for me to like put down in words. But like for yeah. Hitman Three, they just have much much better signposting, I guess. Because I actually after I finished Hitman Three, I went back to the level in Hitman Two that I was stuck on, which was like one of the first two or three, and I still couldn't figure it out. I was like, I beat a whole other Hitman game, and, and like I, I went back to Hitman two. two. <laughs> yeah, and I, like so, I still couldn't get it. I was like, what? What is going on here? Do um, they do so, they yeah. adapt these all to be like the same play style, or can you very clearly feel like Hitman one level, Hitman two, Hitman three more so than level design? But like, because you're kind of talking about difference mm -hmm. in gameplay tweaks there. Does it streamline it all so it all feels like the same game now, or? Yeah, yeah. So it's so it's it's interesting. The the only differences you can tell are the level design because when they brought them into Hitman three, all of the Hitman three mechanics go into two and one. Okay. Um you're you're actually your progress so any weapons I unlocked in Hitman three I can use in Hitman two and one, any you know, guns I mm -hmm. unlock Hitman. So you so you basically create this this um kind of in the background this like arsenal that you can pick from that you're like as you're f doing different levels in the different games mm -hmm. uh, you're creating this huge arsenal in the background so the only difference between level between hitman one two and three is how they thought about the level design because mechanically it should all work exactly the same um but for whatever reason it it just they feel very different and i don't know if that means hitman three was streamlined and now it's easier uh, but I felt like I had to restart a lot less. I felt like in Hitman 2, 
I was doing a lot like of where I get to something that's like, how did I eat? It's like you, you get to a point and it'd be like, oh shit, I should have had this thing that I should have gotten 20 minutes ago. And you're like, well, yeah. might as well restart the level. Well, Hitman 3 never has that has that thing. It's like, oh, I missed this thing. I'll bet this thing is around here somewhere. Um, and I can probably figure it out within like, you know, not too far away from where I am currently. So more it feels adaptable. like they, exactly, exactly. And it felt like it allowed me to be more like, quote unquote, creative in Hitman 3, which I, which hmm. I really, really enjoyed. Um, Interesting. The other thing I actually really, the thing I really like about the, the series and the reason I kind of play it the way I do, and we'll talk a little about the, why I didn't particularly enjoy the freelancer, but it's because I like the, um, I've done this, I've realized I've been doing this more since I played Red Dead 2, where it's like, I like the role playing aspect of mm-hmm. games. And the role playing aspect for me, like I was saying, like in Hitman is the, you know, you go and you kill the target, you leave quietly um, sort of thing. And the levels are the, the levels and like the setup for the levels are just so, so, so fucking cool. Um, how they described how I was, I was actually watching a documentary on like the, the making of the Hitman games and how they described it was what they described as like an onion. So when you first get to the level, you're in this outer shell and mm-hmm. then you get to the secondary shell and then this like inner shell where you're usually your target is, or there's some sort of like super secret sciencey thing going on. So it's really cool getting to a level the first time and you're like, okay, this is what the level's about. And you get like a little further and it's like, oh no, this is what the level's about. And you get a little further, like, oh wait, no, this is what the level's about. <laughs> um, I'll, I'm, one of, I'm, I'm tr- like, I'm trying to think of like non-spoilery examples because they're all a little bit spoilery, but um, I'll spoil one because I thought it was really, really cool. The level starts, you're at a, um, a gas station on the side of the road. There's like nobody around and there's like kind of a car that's parked off to the side and it's, the lights are flashing. So you walk over there and you're walking down mm-hmm. this trail and, um, you come up to this a bit and then all this, and then you come to this like abandoned factory, but you hear music coming from the abandoned factory. So like you're walking closer and closer and it turns out there's like this abandoned factory is actually running a rave currently (laughs) so then it like (laughs) so you think you're in this like spooky forest level but it's like actually no you're now in a rave level um (laughs) and then there's some other like side stuff going on as well so just it does this like really awesome sort of like sense of surprise as you get further and further level so there's just like constant reward within the level as you're getting deeper and deeper interesting um that i really enjoyed and the setups and the places are really cool because it's like that scene's kind of like the part in Collateral. There's scenes that are like oh, yeah. kind of like Minority Port. There's scene, there's like, it's like a lot of like they saw this movie. It's like we could kind of do this in Hitman. <laughs> in- inspired by lots of Inspi- inspired by. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. So it's, so it's like really really fun in that aspect. I actually really loved that sort of how the gameplay plays. It like it just gives you a nice place to like play in. It's just like a cool area that makes me really excited for the for the Bond games as well for whatever the <laughs> yeah. new, next Bond games are doing. Yeah. It always feels just, it always seemed to me just like a big sandbox of like, here mm-hmm. are tools, do what you want. It's just a really pretty, because these levels are always gorgeous. Like from yeah. the little bits I've played of like demos and betas and all that kind of stuff, everything's gorgeous. Everything just, it, it, they look incredible and it just always seemed like a cool place to explore and if I didn't have to try and be quiet the whole time, which I'm not good at. <laughs> well, <laughs> yeah. I mean, it, it's funny, actually, I'd say Hitman 3 actually has probably the least amount of stealth of the series. And this, oh. is, like, this is not me trying to encourage you. I'm just, like, <laughs> letting no, no, no. you know because you'd still hate this game. Um, but the thing, the thing, the way that I think people play this game is, like, oh, it's a sandbox. And, like, oh, I'm going to take an explosive rubber ducky and then chuck it at the yeah. guy. And then he explodes and 10 other people die. And, like, I don't like to play Hitman that way at all. But it's the way they advertise it. And that's what the whole new freelancer mode is about. It's, like what it does it sets up random targets for you in this in the levels and then it's like kill them in these ways like use a poison dart on this guy um use an explosives on this guy use like machine you have to do like three machine gun kills which is really loud and um and i can see how that's fun for people but i really like finishing a level and then being done with it yeah. But how people play Hitman is like what you're saying. It's a sandbox. So like they'll play a level like 10 different times to get 10 different ways of doing it. But I like the way I play games and the, I like games that have a lot of options. And then I like being stuck with the options I chose. To yeah. me, that's more rewarding to then close the book and say, those are my choices and that's what happened. Yeah. Rather than like, well, what if I did it this way and then did this? And it's like, I don't, I feel like that kind of breaks the atmosphere that the game is trying to sh- to do 
Um, it, it pushes. I think. I feel like it just kind of sounds like it pushes it one way or another. You've got the like serious tone of like I am Agent Forty Seven, Hitman Extraordinaire, yeah. and <laughs> exactly like like Grand Theft Auto, like running over pedestrians and doing exactly crazy exactly. Stuff, which and <laughs> I think that's fine. And like that's fine if that's how people want to play the game. But but that whole freelancer mode is like built around that. And they're like, mm-hmm. oh, this is this is the cool new thing that they're doing with it. And it just like it didn't really appeal to me. I did play I played it for about like maybe two or three hours. And there's also like a roguelike element, like if you die, you, you kind of restarts and stuff. And it just like it just wasn't it wasn't speaking to me the yeah. way that others other Hitman levels do. Uh is it yeah. so is it like dailies, like weeklies, like that type of thing? Like here's the, today's target is this or is it just a constant randomization of we picked a random character in this level, go kill that one. It's a, it's a constant randomization. So like basically what it is you go up to like a board and then you're supposed to essentially do like really trying to simplify this as much as I can, essentially yeah. 10 levels in a row with two different like random targets in each one. And I'm just not that good at Hitman. <laughs> um, <laughs> and the thing is like they expect, and what it does, it randomizes levels from throughout the entire series oh, because okay. it's, you know, it's all within the same thing. So, oh, so you, you get your to... Hitman two level and you're in trouble. Exactly. Exactly. And that's, and that's, and part of that, part of that's what was happening. I was like, well, I mean, I don't know this level that well. So it's like, and I, I guess I can run over and stab this guy and I'll fail two of the three mission things I do, but it's like, well, I, I did it. And I killed these two guys and ran out. I was like, that's just, it just, I don't know. It's, it's, it turns the, t- it turns the dial more towards gameplay, which is yeah. fine. And, but I, I like the role play. I like not even the story, the story. I don't even like that much. It's, it's, it's not even, it's like, okay it like facilitates <laughs> what you are doing yeah um but just the 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 vibe i just like to, i like to, i like to pretend the game is not just total gameplay mechanism sandbox and this is like nope no no this is definitely just gameplay mechanism sandbox go do go be crazy and i was like ah, i don't know so yeah i don't know but the thing is like it, you know if you like that stuff it's going to be amazing for you I, I, i've listened to other people talk about it and they're like this is just exactly what i wanted from hitman um, but if that's not what you might want from Hitman, but you haven't played all the Hitman games, like World of Assassination is like an amazing way to play all of them now. Yeah. Um, I mean, I you would just get play both... Hitman 1, 1 and 3. But... <laughs> <laughs> but those are both there, and you can just get yeah, them there. Exactly. I mean, so it sounds like that best of both world packages. If you are the, yeah. I'm going to embody this character and do things like as the best assassin in the world, Yeah. go play your 1 through 3. You want to just yeah. screw around and go crazy, go, go, you do your little thing. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. Exactly. And it's 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 an awesome game. I was I was thinking just Hitman three. I was surprised how much I, I liked it because I really didn't like two that much. Mm-hmm. Uh, it was fun. It was funny going back to two and like this confirms I did not like two. <laughs> <laughs> it's always weird when there's like that one in a franchise. You're like I love everything except that one. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And it's funny. I couldn't even tell you why. I I don't think I can explain to you why because it's all the exact same mechanics. There's just something about the level design I just can't do. <laughs> Yeah. We are Workforce Gaming. We try to have new videos up every Monday. You can leave a comment below, subscribe to our channel, and we hope to see you soon. Bye.